Hello all of you and Flexians, my name is Mercurosis, and welcome back to episode 14 of Franbo. I believe it's 14, I don't even remember. And where we last left off, we were looking at this gorgeous face right here. So, let's continue. I'm sorry, Fran, I didn't want to hurt you or scare you. I'm just worried about Mr. Midnight, sir. You make me... You made me leave him. Is he really alive? Like, seriously, is he really alive? Of course he is, sir. Why would I lie about it? This feels so wrong. You know, Fran, I was fired from the asylum because I knew too much. I have found things that I do not understand yet. I really look, thought you were dead. Look at these documents. Uh, family murder on Hay Street. The bodies of Perkley Slice, Martin and Lucius Bro. Der oh yeah, Dagenhart was. Uh, she froze to death. What? What the newspaper know about Frambo? She was found in the woods, frozen to death. She ran away from home, finding about her parents' murder. She was ten. Actually, no. Wait. Uh, it was uh, something. But, I'm not dead, sir. This is all lies. I see that. I also found out that your medicine was switched. You were given a new variant of duotine. When I looked in the laboratory, the levels of e ectoplomomatin were too high. That couldn't be good. Ectoplomatin creates a door between the subconscious and conscious. The problem is, if the if the ectoplomatin is too high, the door will be too wide. And then that can create a giant confusion in your brain. A great confusion in my brain? I am a bit confused, yes. But that's because of all these new things that I can see and feel. What do you mean, Fran? I can see the ultra reality, sir, and it also travels into other worlds. Ultra reality? That must be the consequences of duity, nothing more. That is not true. If I had some more medicine, I could show you. You don't need that medicine anymore. Besides, it's all in your f head, Fran. It's always been in your head. All in my head, you say? Then I might be able to control it. I mean, that you are imagining things. That's all. Oh, the hot goddamn mother of God. Okay, that actually startled me. The beautiful face turned evil. Hey, there's a shadow in the back. I tried to tell my mother the truth, but father would harm her as well. I don't want my father playing with his knife again. My arms hurt. Oh. Did your father harm you with his knife, Doctor? What? Who told you that? You did. Or didn't you, sir? I... I haven't said anything about it. Oh my goodness, then it's true. Oh please, let us focus. But you're not listening to me, sir. We need to find out the truth. I wonder who is behind all of this. The nurses? Oswald? Who knows? I do, sir. It's the big black monster, Remor. He took my parents and now he haunts me. He wants me dead. Hunts me, not haunts. Sorry. Oh, I wish I could stay in the Thursda with Palantras and the Great Wizard. What are you talking about? Please, Fran, I'm serious. Just stop imaginary things. I never said it would- I never said goodbye to Itward or Palantris, and my kitty is all alone. Palantris? Itward? Please, Fran. Palantris is the doctor of Ethersta. He is a flying creature. Very fluffy, sir. And Itward is my faithful friend. He brought me home with his machine. It seems you have been living inside of a fairy tale. It wasn't good all the time, sir. Twins are gone because of me. And I saw myself killing Mr. Midnight, and I saw Mother and Father, too. 
The twins? What twins? The girls that were attached to each other. Attached, you say? That reminds me of the Clara and Mia case. Two girls in the asylum that claim to have seen a e creature named Edward or something. Edward? Edward? I think you are misunderstanding, sir. It's Itward. But what happened to these girls? Dr. Oswald was experimenting on them. He sewed them together. Mostly to see the reactions of the DNA, but nothing happened. So, an insane asylum did all of this experimentations? That's fucked up. A few months later, they died and their bodies was thrown into a well. That is awful, sir. You can't take me back to the asylum. They'll do weird, horrible things to me, like throw me in a well. <gasps> That's why the well was there. Duh. Don't worry, I won't. I brought you with me so I can help- so you can help me. Maybe we can find something that would lead us to the response to those responsible for this disgrace. Thank you, Doctor. Maybe Palantras was right about you. You are not a bad doctor. You were just an old man following the rules. Following the rules? Well, not tonight. See, look. Six and a half minutes. If I did that, episode would have ran way right too long. Here we are. But this is the cemetery, sir. What are we doing here? You'll see. Come on, follow me. Alright, let's follow the doctor into the strange old cemetery. This is not weird, not in the slightest. This is your parents' resting place, and also yours. Why did you bring me here, sir? I'm sorry, Fran, but things are how they are. Your parents were killed. Knowing who killed them can make us... Or, can help us make things right. What do you mean by right, sir? I mean that if we can find the guilty ones, we will have justice. Use the law to punish such behaviors and prevent others from being harmed. I understand, sir. And for what do you need my help? To find clues and evidence, we must open the coffins. You want me to open my dead parents' coffins? Yeah, I'm going to pass. Or... Alright, sir. I'll help. Maybe the deedle... Uh, deedle worms came already. Who? Uh, anyway, we have to find some shovels to dig. I'll go left and you can go right. I'll see you in a few minutes right here, alright? Yes, Dr. Dern. I'll see you soon. We just came from that direction, sir. And I didn't see any show. Okay, bye. Oh, they have to be in this, this storage place. Oh, let's look at the cross. No name, no flower. Maybe nobody is down there. Open the door. Oh, it's stuck. It must be the stubble storage. Well, there may be a way to open it. A way to open this. Oh, wait. Can I pick the lock with a knife? Nope. Okay. Uh... Dr. Dern, I need to get in your car. There we go. Thank you, sir. Just what I needed, a crowbar. I don't know why you had a crowbar in your thing. Okay, let's look in here really quick. Martin Bow, father. He died at age 43. Lucia Bow. Oh. She died at 39, and Fran died at 10. All right. All right, all right, all right. Time to bust open. But it, oh there, it's, oh it's a little pine cone. <laughs> Shh, you have to keep it down, Fabio. Oh, but I'm not Fabio, I'm Fran. Hello, little pine cone. I, oh my goodness, a giant. Uh, oh, please, don't be scared. I won't harm you. 
I thought no giants could see us. Uh, I think I can see you because I have very big eyes, you see? Ah, I see. I'm Sebastian, by the way, the tribe's collector. What kind of collector? Tax collector? Because if that's the case, no, uh, no part. The tribe's collector. That sounds exciting. Right now, we are trying to find some shiny leather. We need it for the mating ritual. Why do you need leather for mating ritual? Oh, that's quite interesting. Shiny leather. Hmm. Yes, last year we used old human skin, but the deadly, deadly worms wanted it back. What kind of mating rituals are you doing? God damn. So we are looking for something more synthetic. Well, I hope you can find the leather. Man. Um, Sebastian? Would you do me a favor? It depends on the favor, I don't miss. I was thinking that you could open the door for me from the inside. I could do that, but we can help each other instead. Bring me a piece of leather and I'll open the door. Alright, giant miss? But where will I even find that? Huh. Well, alright. I'll see what I can do. Good thing I have a brain and realize what car it was. Because those are leather seats. And I have a knife. I hope Dr. Dern doesn't mind if I cut open his uh, beautiful uh, leather seats. He, he, he won't take notice. We can just blame his butt. You know, wearing the leather down. Getting in and out of the car. Doing other things. I mean, nothing. Okay, piece of leather in the thingy in the cat. Take a drinky. Not what I imagined what a pine cone creature would look like. Wow, thank you, giant miss. Our tribe, the pine zealos, would be happy. And now I will open the door just a second. Open sesame. Oof. Ouch. Are you all right, Sebastian? Why am I hurt? Why did I say out? Sebastian? Uh, what? Um, yeah, I am all right, miss. Yes. Well, good. Thank you. You opened the door. You're welcome, giant miss. Hey, Fabio. Hey, Fabio. Don't forget the mating ritual. Oh. I have to go, miss. Good night. We have... Hey, Fabio. Wait for me. I have the leather. Okay, that's enough weird. Oh, huh, there's nothing in here. I can't dig with a broom. I can't dig with a well. Uh, light a match. She said she couldn't see, right? Nothing, of course. What was I thinking? All right, I can't dig with a broom. Oh, uh, there's nothing in here I could use. Fabio? Oh. There you are, friend. Look, I found us a pair of shovels. Let's, let, let's dig. Dig your own grave. Diggy, diggy, do going to find you. Well, now we have to come up with something and open the coffins. They're stuck. Uh, oh, I had a crowbar in my car just in case, but I couldn't find it. Oh, I took the crowbar, sir. I needed it to open a door. Do you want it back? No need, Fran. But you can do the honors of opening the coffins. All right, sir. I'll open them. I'll open up my parents' dead copping bodies. Ah, uh, these coffins can't be opened. The lids are stuck. Well. Oh, dear Papa. Oh, my goodness. Father, the deedle worms took your eyes. Oh, Mother, you're so skinny. A bit too much, I would say. And what's in coffin number three? A cat. Woohoo! I'm not in the coffin. Great. But. I will name you Albert. Did you see anything that could bring us closer to the killer? No, sir. I just feel really bad doing this, seeing my parents like this, all dead and corpsey. Also, the dead cat is not my cat. They're lying. Fan, I told you. 
your cat was missing and maybe this one is actually your cat. It can't be, sir. I have to find my kitty. You have to believe me. Take me home and I'll show you, please. <sighs> All right, Fran, I'll take you back home. I'll take care of this later. I still need to find some clues. Thank you, sir. Let's go. I'm right behind you, sir. Goodbye, Mama, and goodbye, Papa. You've been a very good corpses. Oh, dear Dr. Dan, you were in Remus's face and furnish to the hands of darkness. You have no manners. I'm not afraid of you anymore. I've taken you away from you, the light. The one you love. The one you respect. And the one you desire to love you. Oh god. He's using the force. And my eyes are bleeding. Oh god damn. Oh, end of the game. Hope you've all enjoyed. I like Remus. I can finally do the voice. You broken little girl. Oh. Um, it's not his character. The House of Madness invites you inside. Come on in. Come on in. Oh, my heart's ripped out of my... If you want to find those who love you, you have to regain the pieces. In darkness, you must wake up. And in darkness, you'll see the light. Wake up now, Fran. Wake up. Chapter 5. The House of Madness. Oh, this game is getting really good. Like, woo good. Oh, hi there. Aunt Nancy. Grace. Not Nancy. Aunt Grace, is that you? I just took a swiggins of Dr. Pepper. Uh. My darling, you finally woke up. You are at home, my dear. No, unless this is the house of madness, I'm not home. Am I? Really? That's incredible. Why am I changed to my own bed? I'm so happy to see you. Please give me a hug. Soon, my darling. And where is Mr. Midnight? Your cat? Well, you know he ran away after what he did. Af what? He ran away? But what did he do? Well, your cat killed my sister and your father. He is a traitor to our whole family. That's not true. He can't be true. He didn't do it. Oh, but he may. He always threatened to scratch somebody's eye out. But his cat-like claws couldn't, like, cut through a body, I don't think. So, I don't think he did it by himself. It doesn't matter if it's true or not. In the end, we all have a guilty one, right? But you can't blame Mr. Midnight. He's my best friend and is a cat and wouldn't go so well in a trial basis. But, you know, you can't do that. But it is easier to blame somebody else than taking responsibility, isn't it? I will always take responsibilities for my actions, even if they are not so good. What a good girl. Now, rest now, my darling. You need it. But, Aunt Grace, don't leave me. Why am I chained to the bed? Because your hands do bad things when they're untied. What, what are you talking about? Uncuff me now! I have to go find Mr. Midnight. You aren't my aunt! Little, little shining Fran, don't worry about the lies. The seeker of truth will always die because of the evil it will never hide. Little, little shining Fran, go to bed and sleep tight, and forget the pain inside your mind. You were selected to suffer, to cry, and hate, but the darkness wants to free you from all disgrace. Sleep tight, my darling Fran. Aunt Grace, that was a horrible, horrible poem. Oh no, don't leave me here, Aunt Grace. Come back, please. Nice store, by the way. Why is he acting so strange? Why blame Mr. Midnight unless he did do it? 
scaredy coon and killed my parents. His claws are so tiny and soft. So he could have had help, though. I hope he is fine, but what should I do now? Uh. Tick, tock, tick, tock. Crazy sound, it never stops. Now that I... Oh, okay. Now that I think about it, the clockmaker said that time is a layered reality. Maybe. There's another version of me in, in this room, in another time. Or am I just imagining things? But if it's true, how could I make contact with her? Dr. Dearn said that everything is in my head. Okay. Um... Holy! Oh, god damn, what did I do? Uh. And the wind took all the magical dust away. Oh, hello. What are you doing in my bed? Are you sick? Uh, uh. Are you an older version of me? Your bed? This is my bed. And no, I'm not sick. But you are chained. Are you a dog? Wait, do I know you? I'm not a dog, and yes, I'm chained. Can you unlock it? Whoa. You are myself. You really are. You think so? Then this is this means I managed to enter the ultra reality. Did you meet Itward already? He always talks about that. Yes, I met him already, but I haven't seen him since the crash. You crashed? That means you are broken. I'm not broken! Why would you say that? Let me out of the bed! Think about it. The only way to cross into ultra reality is to break the eyes, to break the ears, break the physical limitations. That sounds extreme. You think I'm dead? No, not at all. They told me that you, to die is just a mental state. They? Who are they? All the creatures that we can see. The black ones, the white ones. Do you know why we can see these things? Yes. A man called Leon came to visit me and told me everything. Oh, and can you tell me then why we see things we do? What about if I help you unlock the handcuffs first? Then we can talk. Good idea. I need to find Mr. Midnight. I think he's in real danger. Aunt Grace blames him for the death of our parents. Who is Mr. Midnight? What? That's our kitty. You know, our best friend. I don't have a cat. I guess that's the difference between us. Anyways, let me see if I can unlock you. It so happens that I'm a key collector. I'll be right back. Oh, now I'm in control of her? Okay. Well, we're playing dress up. Key, 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 Itward, and Palantris. Oh, my yellow dress is pretty. Hey, that's the same dress I'm wearing, actually. The jacket. Pen, paper. Okay. That's a lot of key. Dolly. Alright. Let us unlock the lock. Please, friend. Find a way to unlock me and I need to find Mr. Midnight. I'm on it. Don't panic. Alright. Use the key on the... Let me see. Which key? Uh... No. Oh, they're all the same. Any meeny miny mo casual tag by it. So if you saw let them go. Out goes Y O U. Oh. No, hey, any meeny miny mo works. Perfect. And I did any meeny miny mo. And I caught that tiger by its toe. Thank you so much, Fan. Yeah, <laughs> you really have a lot of keys in there. Yes, don't you? Oh, friend, before I forget, Palantris told me that if you, if we meet someday, I should give you this. Here, I think it will help you open something. Oh, wait, oh, I couldn't read it. Palantris, you know him too? Wow, thank you. Yes, he also told me that if we meet, you should be ready for what is about to come up. What? Ready for me? What? Tell me. Oh, no, I can't now. She's coming. Be quiet. Who's coming? Oh, it's the nurse. Come on, Fran. You must see the doctor now. Wait a minute. What about the other friend? Uh, did she not care about, like... 
No, don't go, little friend. We have stuff to talk about. That nurse is bad, bad, bad nurse. She had a gun! She was the one lying to the newspaper about me. Anyway, I must find the monster. I'm sure he took Mr. Nendite. But nobody can take Kitty away from me now. Nobody! Let's open up that box. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, I got everything back in my inventory. Examine. The little golden box was having a hard time. All the screaming and the bogers were driving me bad. I press it by the ear. First twice to the left and once to the right. It's a code. All right. Uh... I rub the only eye two times to see if it has tears this time. I take him once by the left ear and scream, Stop whining, you little golden box. Press your eye again and open the door. Alright. Well, use this. Okay, never mind. Examine this. There are eyes in here. So, one, two, one, one, two, one, two. I meant one. Oh my goodness, it's open. Oh, I got a key and I got other things. Okay, let's examine this. Cogwind. Uh, Mabuka, Mabuka, wake up, Mother Mabuka. The horn child is playing with the light of Lakas' injury and shining too bright. Mother Mamuka, wake up, wake up, and give your children before the darkness ends in the light of the light. Mabuka just w must wake up. Let's build the echo clock on the back of a giant cat. Too strong are the bubbles and too bright to see, she cried. Me, Mabuka, the mother of the darkness, will open my heart. Please take my little, hor my little horned evil child and shut down the lights. So I need an empty case, a walker bulb, wake up clock, bottle of water, soap bar, one glove, black wire, piano keys. All right, I have none of that. Perfect. Uh, doll, doll. Hello, alien. She loves this comic. Okay, let's see. Uh, it's a regular scarf. I got some balloons. Okay, shoes. Oh, wait. Hat, books, magic conch shell, lots of candy, stock. Oh, hey, look. I got a like, school case. Oh, we needed an empty case. Okay, a lollipop. Okay, never mind. A mirror. And a picture. Oh, this is Alice from school. We like to play. It's Alice from Wonderland. You know, the cat. The Cheser cat. It's Alice. It's freaking Alice in Wonderland. With Fran. Interesting. Alright. Uh, let's get out of the closet. Let's look in the dollhouse. Okay. Oh, I can play with... Oh, uh, ho, ho I found a key. Well, we'll just cut that right out of there. Okay, cut that out. Got the key. Alright, sweet. Put everything back. Can I pick that up? Can I pick that up? Can I put this back down here? Can I pick anything up? Like, there's writing everywhere. Okay, well. Kitty bed. There, there. Cuckoo clock. Painting. Outside. Oh, my house! It looks strange. A Kalamas. Na nasty creature. And it's a tree! Excuse me, somebody down there? Yes, I'm somebody. I'm a tree. There's the lockers. Wait, Kalamas is doing naughty things to me. Um, sir, I have to go. Um, 
I have to end the video. I'll be in back in the next episode. All right, I have to go now. Bye. Because I have to end the episode. So I hope all of you and Flex. No, okay. I hope all of you and Flex students have enjoyed this episode of Fran Bo episode something of another fourteen. I think it's fourteen. But I guess until the next episode. Stay sharp, everybody. Stay sharp. See ya. <laughs>